Hey guys, welcome back to another episode here on our Let's Play world. So in our last episode, I asked you guys for some possible names for our friend over here. And uh, one commenter, uh, Tony Spruce, suggested George. And honestly, I quite like it. So I think we're going to go ahead and call this guy George. Now, I don't have enough iron at the moment to make an anvil to name him um but we should be able to get that fairly quickly uh, at least that's the hope and uh so yeah everyone meet george uh he may be referred to as jared from time to time just because that's that's a thing from where i'm from uh but yeah so other things i think we'll do in this episode uh one i need to finish this but i'm not going to uh really involve that on camera too much uh, just get the rest of the occasion once again I don't have uh, I don't have the iron for making the other pistons but that will come however the dungeon that we found a couple episodes ago I think we will go over and explore that and see if we can't get lucky and have it be skeletons as out of the three options, skeletons are by far the best. Uh, more dangerous, sure, but best drops. I hear skeletons. I really, I really hope this is skeletons. If it is, we can get ourselves a skelly grinder and we can get all the bone meal we could ever want, which will make our lives so much easier for getting sustainable food and wheat. We have scallies. No, 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 no. Stop it. Stop spawning. Stop spawning. What a save. Oh, without that water, we were toast. We got a name for our zombie friend now. Dick Cole. We'll certainly take that and that. I mean, we'll take it. Golden apple, pumpkin. Lots more strength. Saddle, we can get ourselves a nice horse. Awesome. 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 I don't, I don't trust it.
Okay, so now that we have the area dug out down below, we just had to remove those few blocks with the torches out. As well, we have uh, this rising and falling area for the skeletons so that they take damage. So there'll be a one hit kill. Um, we should be able to get down here now. I've brought in the soul sand with us and uh, we can get onwards with the next step here. I just realized, however, that uh, I need to go and cut down a tree next to us here and uh, get ourselves a few fence posts so that we can stop the water in a few strategic locations. So we will come down here and this is where the skeletons will initially go up. We'll remove this block and put a soul soil there to make our bubble vader. We'll go and we'll get a couple signs and we'll place signs along here with water flowing over and then up. Well guys, we've got the lighting closed, we've got everything done, the water stream is put in, and we've got one hit kill skellies. That is fantastic news. We will have to come back later on and clean this place up a little, make it a little nicer, build in some storage. But for now, this will do quite well for uh, the early game mob farm for us. Get us some bone meal and then we can get ourselves a better supply of food. Also, uh, while I was doing this, I did take a bit of time to go mining. And we found ourselves 16 more diamonds. So I did make an enchanting table back at the house as well. And uh, our next step, I think, is let's get some cows and maybe build up a small fast wheat farm and uh, thing, get on with the enchanting so we are back at our house now uh, we did finish up the sugarcane farm here I'd like to put a window in as well as you can see it's producing which is very nice it's a little loud in the area and uh, thinking we'll house some kind of building over this I'm thinking maybe Maybe build like a barn. Uh, over here, uh, I've got the layout for our fast uh, wheat farm that I plan on sticking in. Uh, now that we've got the source of bone meal uh, coming along pretty good. As well, we have a basic cow crusher here to get ourselves a bit more food and uh, leather. Right now there's five cows in there, I believe it is. Uh, we have to get them up to entity cramming numbers uh, by breeding them. And then it'll start to produce, so it's I mean, it's fairly simple. Cows fit in the one block gap. And uh, we just have a dispenser with a bucket of water in it. So when we push the button, they float up. We can breed them. We'll entity cram. And we can just stand here in the corner and pick up any drops that they have. But yeah, I think for uh, the next little bit in the episode, I'm going to have to just do a bit of grindy work. Uh, try and get our cows up which means growing more wheat. So yeah, once they are producing, I think we'll get our enchanting stuff sorted away. And then get our enchanting set up. As I said uh, earlier, we do have our enchanter uh, right here, ready to go. We just are going to have to set up a place for it. Uh, we don't really have the room inside of our cabin. Um, so we'll have to make another building for that. We're clearly going a more like a country vibe kind of here. This is a bit of a getaway. If we build a barn over here, then maybe maybe over that way we plan out to do some kind of farmland, maybe a windmill, that kind of thing. So it could be interesting if we put a windmill, uh, say on this hill right here, to build our enchanting setup into it. Uh, so maybe that's what we'll do. Uh, Probably in the next episode. I don't think we'll have quite enough time to uh, build the windmill and get our full enchanting set up in this one. Uh, but I think that could be very nice for next episode. So maybe let me know in the comments what uh, color uh, we should go with. I'm thinking it'll be maybe start off in stone, transition to some form of wood, or maybe we could keep it stone the whole way and... Uh, just try and work on a bit of a gradient. It's not something that I've ever really done before. So, um, yeah, I'd love to try it. As for our barn that we'll build, I think we'll stick with uh, the acacia color because 
it reminds me a lot of the red color barns uh, that you see in a lot of uh, more like prairie areas. Uh, and yeah, so I, I think that's what we'll do for this. We'll make a nice uh, red color barn with a nice barn style roof. I'm thinking for the roof, maybe a bit of dark oak. And I think that could turn out pretty nice. Uh, and then, yeah, let me know. Let me know what kind of color scheme we should go with for the windmill if you have any ideas. And uh, we'll go from there. I kind of want to try and just build something up myself. Uh, just looking at a few pictures of actual windmills. I don't know if I really want to try and follow a tutorial. Like I said, I want to get better at my building. So I'd rather build something that is unfortunately not quite so pretty as uh, some things you might see. Uh, but mine. And... Uh, yeah, that's that's how I'm going to get better, right? I mean, sure, I could get better by building other people's builds and tutorials and seeing what they did and their block palettes and that kind of stuff. But part of me wants to just try my own builds. It's the same reason why I plan on doing most of my farm designs myself, which is why things like my sugarcane farm isn't exactly the way that you'd normally see it done. But it is mine and i like that i i think it very much makes this world a little bit kind of special uh to me and to us and that is definitely one of the things that i said i wanted to start out and do is just get better at building i want to work on different farms and different just random contraptions and yeah grow this place with you guys take input from you and go from there uh, things like I mean the color of our house as uh, input from you guys having George be George <laughs> is yeah that's it's all input from you guys and I love having that aspect of this world it just gives it so much extra feeling and meaning to everything and uh, I'm really really liking this so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And uh, I always love to hear your feedback because it gives me something to go on and it helps me to know if you're actually enjoying what I'm doing. And yeah, that's just, that's just super awesome. Also, by the way, I am super excited for a few projects I have planned in the future. Uh, we are nowhere near the resources. But, uh, I'm thinking mega base plans. When we get into building our mega base, one big thing is going to be storage. We are going to try and collect as many of the different types of blocks and items as we can. We're going to farm as much as we can. And the farms and stuff that I plan on making later in the game, like this sugarcane farm, this is tiny. We will be building a bigger one in the future just to build a bigger one in the future. But later on, we'll also be wanting a rocket supply and we're going to want it for that. Uh, but yeah, so we plan on building basically every type of farm that we can. And so I want to try and design a storage system that's automatic. But not automatic in that it stores away the items. I mean, I wanted to do that too. I mean automatic in terms of retrieval of those items. I want to build basically a computer system that uh, will take some kind of input from us, whether that be flipping through pages on a lectern to pushing buttons, levers, and then have it send the items that we've selected back to us so if you guys watch the last season of hermitcraft etho did something similar uh, with his googler but i don't want to do it on a small scale i want to do it on a big scale so i'm thinking maybe categorize our items between like stone uh crops farmable mob farmable uh trees wood uh leaves things like that 
and so have big categories that we can kind of break the system down into and then smaller categories to go from there. I'm super excited if you can't tell and I have no idea one how to do that right now uh, so I've got some work I need to work out in a creative world uh, and we clearly have quite a bit of time before we're at that level but yeah I just wanted to put that in your guys's ear and if you have some ideas for categories hey sit on it maybe let me know even in episodes to come just at some point in the comments be like hey Here's a possible, like, uh, category that you could make for a certain group of items. Because I'm sure there's things that I will forget about. And uh, I, I think it could be very interesting. And uh, maybe even I'll bring you guys into that creative process. Anyways, I think that's all the time we have for this week's episode. So, like this video if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next episode.